hello friends and welcome to my youtube channel so uh, today in this video i am going to talk about implementing the audience network plugin by facebook so uh, by this you can implement facebook ads in your application now in, on, on here you can see that i have integrated this plugin into my account into my application and I have tested this and it's working fine so I will show you uh, the end result of this plugin by running it on Android device so uh, the first thing you need to do is you need to go to this uh, developers.facebook.com so the link will be in the description of the video so uh, for that you need a Facebook account to implement this ad and right now we are here at unity tab so now right now it's saying that ensure that you have completed the audience network getting started guide before you proceed so when you click on getting started you will be redirected to this page now in here you can see that facebook audience network allow you to monetize your ios and android apps with targeted ads so it's saying that it's saying that uh, please follow this guide so when you click on this link you will be directed to this link now here you can see that requirements to get started so you must have an android or ios app that you want to integrate ads and that will be available so it is not necessary to have your app on google google play or app store to integrate this but uh, the in the future the app should be at google play store or app store to earn the revenue and a personal facebook account which you will have and a business and uh, we also need to have a business account so what is business account and how to create it we will see this in later now uh, the first thing in the setup is to go to the monetization manager so when you click on this monetization manager you will be redirected to this monetization manager console now in here uh, you will see this page so if you or not seeing this maybe you need to set up a business account first or something but you should be right here now in here you can see that properties so we are going to create a property so uh, properties are just like add units in add mob so let's create a new property here now what is the name of your property so I will just put my property and create this property now uh, we need to select the platform so I'm going to add Android for now and then we need we have two options is if the app is live you need to put the URL of your app and since our app is not live so we are going to select app is not live and submit now uh, the next thing is to create your placement so we are going to use interstitial add and the and next step is to describe the stack we need to follow to find the ad so let's say show the ad after level is cleared or you can uh, just ignore it now let's create the placement now we can see that our placement has been created and it's sorry so here is our 
placement and here is our placement ID so uh, this is important now you can uh, read the integration guide and download the SDK here so let's click on that link and now I am going to copy this placement ID now right here you can see that we need to enter our business payment account information so I already have one account associated with that so let's click on this edit payment setting so uh, to create a business account so you can see that we can add a payment account create new account or I already have one so let's create a new account here and set up payments country is going to be where is it Pakistan and business is individual now you need to put all your uh, information legal address street address town city phone number and in here we need to put the tax ID so I don't have a tax ID so I will leave it as it is so uh, the payment should be uh, set up you need to put your IBAN account number and your bank account number and SWIFT code you can get all the information from your bank or your bank's website so uh, we don't so after adding your account you need to select your business payment account and click on select now that's it now we need to go to this uh, guide and we are going to select the unity right here and we need to download the audience network unity SDK so I'm going to click on that and it's showing all the steps that you need to do so I have already downloaded it and imported the audience network SDK right here in my assets folder now the next thing you need to do is end your audience network in the scenes you will have all the scenes uh, depend on uh, based on your placement you can select any any of that so we did we created an interstitial ad so I'm going to open this interstitial ad scene that is right here and in here we also have a script called interstitial ad scene so we can find the script so we can find uh, on which object this script is applied by searching interstitial so let's copy the name from here so control C and control V so it's applied on canvas somewhere so right here interstitial add scene now let's open this script and in here you can see that we have our placement ID so you need to put your placement ID right here now after that there is a very important step that you need to do is you need to go to this tools and audience network and you need to click on regenerate and write manifest so uh, click on that and the file will be generated so let's click and ok and it's also showing that if interstitial ads still throw activity not found exception you may need to copy the generated manifest so at this path our manifest exists and we need to put it in the assets plugins android folder
so assets plugins and android folder so right here we have our android manifest file now uh, we need to build this on android device and before calling this uh, before uh, to display this ad it is important to load the interstitial first so you need to click on this load interstitial first and then click on this show interstitial now let's go back here and in here for ios you will find the guide here since i don't have mac with me so you need to follow the steps from here you need to set up the bundle identifier and so now after you publish your app on app store or play store you need to again uh, come to this monetization manager and click on this home so here you will see all your properties so we are going to select and manage our property and our app is not live so we need to add the app url so uh, then we need to select app is live and put your link right here and you will be good to go So uh, that's it for this video and if you liked the video please hit the like button and make sure to subscribe my channel.